another episode of money mondays if you guys are new here every single monday i upload a different finance related video um on this channel i basically talk about all things financial related so i talk about a whole bunch of different topics that i find interesting to myself such as how to make money how to save money how to invest how to build credit and basically just how to increase your financial literacy today's topic in particular is basically how to start investing in your 20s so that you're financially rich in your 30s and this topic you guys is so important and it's so sad that it is not taught in you know the normal school or college setting um, unless you are in that particular major I did take it into my own initiative to read a whole bunch of different books do a lot of research and just try and learn the most I can about um, personal finance I'm 22 years old now however I feel as though I'm very advanced in this personal finance realm because of the work I decided to put in to learning this different information so if you guys like videos like this don't forget to subscribe you guys and give this video a thumbs up just for the time and energy and, and research and stuff that I put into this video I am a strong believer of what you do right now in your 20s is going to directly correlate to the life that you are going to live in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and after retirement. Because um, a lot of times people regret not doing these things when they're 30, 40 years old, and I'm trying to you know, minimize that regret for you guys right here with this video. Different tips can definitely change your life, so I recommend you guys get a notebook, a pen, get your iPhones out, whatever you're using to write down notes. If you're watching this video and you are excited, um, feel free to take a screenshot, a screen recording of this video right now, or take a picture if you're watching this on your TV or your computer. Post it on your Instagram stories, tag me at lavishruby so that you can get more of your friends watching. This is important information that is not taught in schools, you guys, and I'm giving it to you guys for free on this channel. I'm giving you guys some time right now before I start the video subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up check out my hundred dollar Monday Mondays giveaway in the description bar down below and we can start now so the first investment I'm going to talk about today is investing in yourself and there is no other investment that I have here on this list that's going to give you a higher return than investing into yourself and just learning new information consistently um, that's one thing that I dedicated my life to um, early on just wanting to continually learn um, to just better myself in all aspects and that's and that year to learn has definitely benefited me you guys so much in the long run even videos like this where you're just taking that initiative to learn about investing this is something that a large percentage of people that are our age don't um, find importance in you know so taking that initiative to learn about investing to learn different skills to go to college for a specific major that's going to you know make money because there are a lot of majors that do not make money make sure that you're investing in your education and make sure that that specific thing that you're going to do is going to give you a return so whether right, the more you invest in yourself in your education in your skills in your mentorships in your coaches in your courses that you, you plan on taking the more money you're going to generate for yourself and that will allow you to build capital and you know positive cash flow to invest in these different investment streams that I'm going to talk about later on in this video so you guys need to start investing in what's going to make you more money and a lot of the cases it might be college right however a lot of people that I know are majoring in majors that are not going to make them any money major that she majored and don't make no money but she won't drop out her parents to look at her invest into your education college is the route for a lot of different majors like if you're planning on being a doctor if you're planning on being a lawyer however there are some majors that do not require college but people go to college for it right you can save them thousands of dollars that you're spending in college by just investing into a course that you can get online or investing your time into learning information that is already on Google that's one of the main reasons why I decided to create the lavish life Academy if you guys don't know what that is um, I do have the website down below I'm still in the process of adding more and more information into it so depending on the time period that you're watching this video it may have a little bit of information it may have a lot but preparing for the future I think there's gonna be a lot of different courses on there that you guys can take advantage of to basically generate more wealth and just invest your time and money into something that's gonna directly make you more money. Get too far into this video, I do want to mention today's sponsor. I do not take sponsors a lot on this channel because I only want to promote things that I genuinely love and support and consistently use. Today's sponsor, you guys, goes to Audible. Audible is where I personally listen to different audiobooks from my favorite authors and no better time than now to take advantage of Audible because besides the audiobooks you can listen to, you now have access to audio fitness and audio health workouts that you can listen to exclusively on 
Audible. Audible is honestly a great resource to learn new information. Lately, I've been taking full advantage of Audible and I've been listening to a whole bunch of different audiobooks on their platform and it has been honestly such a life-changing experience, you guys, because I'm able to listen to audiobooks along the way while I'm doing my makeup, while I'm driving, and things of that sort. Audible currently has the largest selection of audiobooks in the world right now with different things such as Audible Original. So you guys can go on audible.com backslash ruby or text ruby to 500 to 500 to get your first free audiobook and two free Audible Originals for free. And what's great about this, there's a huge selection of different types of audiobooks you can listen to. Um, I personally love the business category and I literally go through there all the time to listen to different things. Currently right now I'm actually listening to Draymond John's audiobook Rise and Grind. It's honestly amazing for personal development and I highly recommend you guys to check it out. Um, I'll have all this information in the description right down below. Currently right now, another great part about Audible is that right now they're doing a challenge where if you finish three or more Audible books by um, the end of March, this can be a goal for yourself, um, by the way, also, you can receive a $20 credit on Amazon. So they're basically giving you an incentive to learn new information and giving you $20 just for doing So you guys, get your first free audiobook today and two free Audible originals um, just by going on audible.com backslash ruby or texting ruby to 500 500. All right, guys. Back so on. yeah, the skills, the courses, the mentorships that you guys invest your time and money into now can generate a whole bunch of cash flow to invest into later streams of income down the line so I personally have invested into a whole bunch of different things to you know just better my life altogether I've spent thousands on coaching calls I've spent thousands on, on courses I've spent um, a couple of hundred dollars here and there on um, different books that I've read and um, audio books that I've listened together all of those different things that I've done have given me a huge return on my investment you guys so if you haven't already check out lavish life academy um i have the instagram page here on the screen i'm gonna start posting consistently on there if you want more information on the different courses that i'm going to be launching in lavish life academy along with one-on-one -on -one mentorship and things of that sort just text um lavish ruby to 77948 i'll be giving you guys all the different information um regarding lavish life academy and just my future endeavors um regarding speaking engagements and things of that the sort. next tip that i have for you guys is to open up a high interest savings account and it's so crazy how such a high percentage of people don't know this but banks that you guys keep your money in like Chase Bank, Citibank, Bank of America, um, you know your local bank, they literally have no interest on your savings. Why put money into a savings account that's not giving you interest when you can put your money into a high interest savings account that, that can give you an annual percentage of 2%. The problem with putting money into a savings account that your bank offers is that you know most of the time, I want to say maybe 99% of the time, your savings account literally has less than 0.05% um, interest rate, which is literally nothing, you know, so your money is inside this bank, right, that's not giving you any interest, and two, there's a thing called inflation, and basically every single year, the value of the, your money that's in the bank is decreasing. Every single year, inflation is around 2%. However, if you're putting your money into a high interest savings account, the you know, interest rates of the savings account literally moves with inflation. So that that means as their inflation is happening, um, you know, the interest rate goes up so that you're not um, essentially losing money. So that's one thing I definitely recommend you guys to do. If you have a large amount of money um, just laying around, just put it into a high interest savings account. So I have a link to the high interest savings account that I personally use in the description bar down below. You guys can just click there, follow the information, and you guys can start, um, you know, putting your money into your the most important thing to do um, in your 20s to start investing is to open up a retirement account um, so there's two different options that you guys can go about doing this um, there's a 401k or a Roth IRA I'm going to um, you know give you guys the basics of um, these two different things the rest of the stuff I'm going to talk about in this video is going to be um, you know the basic broad line information however from this point it's your responsibility to go further in depth and do more research on what's going to be the best options for you um, I also have an ebook down below that you guys can um, check out it's a book that I created myself on a full guide. Um, it's going to be pages long, you guys, so that you can really read and really understand what the best decision is for you um, in the specific you know, investment realm. So first, I want to talk about a 401k, and this is typically very um, this is very common for people that are employed and have a specific employer. If you guys don't know what a 401k is, it's an account 
you know given by your employer so this is an account where whatever you contribute is deducted from your taxable and basically um grow however much you invest in there um tax free up until you're 59 and a half this basically means that you'll have more money to invest because you're going to be spending less money on taxes so if you are employed maximize your contributions to your 401k all right you have to maximize so if your employer agrees to um maximize 50 percent up to four percent that means if you're putting in eight percent he will give you or your employer will give you um an additional four percent so all so in total that will be 12 percent so definitely you guys max out your 401k that's basically giving you free money from your employer next investment you guys is still underneath you know retirement and this is one of the most important things that you guys should take advantage of if you guys do not have a Roth IRA yet definitely do this you guys as soon as possible and when I say as soon as possible I mean like literally after this video open up a Roth IRA this is one of the most important things when it comes to investing especially as a beginner especially being in your 20s because of compound interest IRA is so important you guys to have because it's basically an account that you can put your money into so that you do not have to pay taxes even when you take the money out at 59.5 or 59 and a half years old you are not getting taxed on that income so you're you're literally keeping money completely tax-free and if you guys know how taxes work you're literally spending a lot of money on taxes so this can be thousands of dollars that you're saving um, just by keeping your money in a, in a Roth IRA and not only that but um, there's compound interest so having your money in a Roth IRA allows your money to increase over time I mentioned this um, in my um, 2020 goals video that I wanted to start opening up a uh, Roth IRA for my siblings and of course I already opened up uh, I already opened up Roth IRA for myself however I want to open up one for my siblings um, to make sure that they're taking taking advantage of this as soon as possible this is something that you should do when you're young one because you're obviously making um, less than you would in the future so you're in a lower tax bracket and two you have decades upon decades of compound interest on your side uh, meaning that you know, the more time that you have your money inside this Roth IRA you have on your side, the more the money is going to increase over that time. There's a whole bunch of different ways to kind of figure out how compound interest works. You can Google it, you can use a compound interest calculator, but just to give you guys an example right now, um, every single dollar that you invest at age 20, right, um, by the time that you're 60 years old, that $1 is going to equal $21, assuming a, a 8% return, right? So you guys can do more research on compound interest to really figure out how to take advantage of this. I talked about this in my um, book, but you guys, compound interest really will change your life and it can make a small amount of money very substantial, literally in the millions. Um, later on down the line. Now, most times you can invest up to $55,000 completely tax-free in a Roth IRA. So you guys definitely try and take advantage of that. Figure out who you need to call um, to set up a Roth IRA for yourself and try and tell people to watch this video or you know set up a Roth IRA for um, your sibling or tell your friends to make sure that they're getting on it just so that they know how important it is and how much it can substantially change your life down the road. understand the importance of the retirement accounts and compound interest now what's very important is what you do inside these accounts so um, the next tip that I have for you guys is to passive invest um, this is obviously optional this is something that I am getting into this year um, and passive investing is basically investing into larger um, you know mutual funds ETFs or ex exchange traded funds or um, index funds but what these are are basket funds that um, contain around 500 to 1,000 stocks. And what's great about investing into one of these broad basket funds is that even if one of the stocks, you know, end up not doing well, it still has 499 or 999 different stocks to kind of level it up. Basically, you're smoothing out your investments by investing into a broad range of stocks instead of just focusing on one that might do bad. You need to really understand which is going to be the best for your specific situation. Um, if you want to do a mutual fund, an index fund, or a ETF or ex exchange traded fund um, I, it's too much to talk about in this video but definitely do your research you guys you can literally just google it and look at the pros and cons of different things so another topic that I'm going to be discussing in my ebook so you guys know where to find it <laughs> I feel like this is a continual plug to my ebook but it's just so much information you guys that it's literally impossible for me to talk about it in this one video it's gonna be like a two hour long video if I talked about literally every single aspect of every single thing um, you can invest into these by um, using brokerage firms there's a whole bunch of different ones in the market right now there's Robinhood and one finance um, fidelity um, there's a couple of different ones um, you kind of have to really figure out what's gonna be the best for you but definitely recommend you guys to invest into 
a broad basket. That's passive investing. Another example, another thing that you can also do is actively invest. Basically investing into the stock or foreign exchange markets. You guys know that I actively do both. Um, I love, you know, trading. So that's basically buying and selling of stocks or buying and selling of foreign exchange currency and forex or buying and selling of cryptocurrency also in forex. Figure out what's going to be the best for you. So the academy definitely goes more in depth about stocks, goes more in depth about foreign exchange um, trading. So if you guys are interested in those two topics, definitely, like I said before, text Lavish Ruby to 77948 or visit, you know, either Lavish Up Academy or LavishRuby.com to see more information on, you know, basically how you can increase your skills on trading in the forex market or trading in stocks. There is a lot of information also online. So like I said in the very first tip, you guys have to invest in yourself. You have to invest in learning new skills. It is not impossible. I feel like there's a stigma behind, you know, being in your 20s and being financially, you know, smart. But there's so much information, you guys, online that you can take advantage of. There's a lot of different people like myself, um, different mentors, different coaches that can really guide you in the right direction. Um, but so definitely recommend investing passively. And if you're into trading, invest actively. Just a side tip, you guys, if you're going to do any of those routes, investing in a broad basket fund or investing in the foreign exchange or stock market, make sure you do it either in a Roth IRA or 401k so that um, the profit that you make is not taxed. So another investment that I recommend you guys to do is investing in a side hustle or a business. Um, I definitely recommend you guys to start some type of business of your own. Um, it's, it's a lot of people have the a lot of people have the notion that you know starting a business is a lot of work, and it is true, but it's not as much work as you guys think. There's a whole bunch of different options that you can go about. Um, the e-commerce business, where you're selling you know products that you make, or you're manufacturing overseas online, like I do with the Lavish Life brand, where I sell academic planners that I created myself and got manufactured by a specific printing company, and then now I'm selling. Um, you know, obviously for profit than I initially invested in. Um, personally, I invested about $10,000 to start off the Lavish Life brand. I've made a ton of money back, you guys, from that initial $10,000 investment. And that $10,000 consisted of um, taking courses to understand how to go about starting this business into um, buying a specific vendor because the vendor that I use like the manufacturer that I use for my planner business I actually had to buy from a different planner business so um, I did that I had to obviously manufacture the planners I had to um, you know create the website I created my website myself I didn't really have to pay for a graphic designer or anything of that sort um, I did all that on my own but um, there's a whole bunch of small fees here and there that you know you have to you know, invest into to make sure that you're going the right way and doing you know things correctly. I had to get my LLC. So there's a lot of different things that go about me investing into that specific business, but I created a return on my investment because you know I did things the right way. And there are different options you can go about doing. I've created three different dropshipping businesses over the past couple of years. Life Academy is going to have a course um, just on dropshipping. If you guys are watching this later on down the road, the course might be up, but I've made thousands of dollars, you guys, on dropshipping, and I didn't even have to hold the, the inventory myself. So that's a great alternative, you guys, to starting a business without you know having so much trust of shipping out orders like I had to do. Um, if you guys watch my six-figure shipping routine, you guys know how much work it takes to ship out orders which I could have, of course, you know, paid somebody to do or created a music fulfillment center to do. But I just wanted to have that experience of doing it. Um, later on down the road, I'm going to use a fulfillment center so that I'm not, you know, personally shipping out thousands of orders every single week. But, you know, we all start from somewhere and we continually learn um, new skills. I didn't really understand the whole fulfillment center process until I had to, you know, research it and really understand what to do moving forward. And you can do stuff like Amazon dropshipping where Amazon fulfills the orders for you. With dropshipping and Amazon FBA, for instance, you can start off with a smaller amount of money and generate a lot more um, money back um, in a shorter period of time. So if you're doing things correctly, if you have the right marketing skills and things of that sort, definitely start a business. Definitely start a business, you guys, so that you can have continual cash flow so that you can put money into the different investment streams that I mentioned previously. Um, so you can put money into these different investment streams like stocks, trading, forex, um, you know, the Roth IRA, 401k, um, real estate that I'm going to be mentioning next. But you have to have some type of money coming in. And a lot of times your specific job is not going to have that much, you know, and your specific full-time job might not acquire enough income to satisfy your specific 
you need. So you can start up a side hustle, like starting up a business or any of the other side hustles that I mentioned in my 15 side hustles video. Um, you know, starting a YouTube channel. There's so many different ways you can go about, you know, different side hustles to generate more income. You know, you guys know that the average millionaire has about seven to of income. You guys have to really start getting on that if you really want to um, be at a specific financial point in your 30s. This is something I mentioned in my 2020 goals video, and this is investing into real estate. It is one of the most proven ways to um, create wealth, you guys, investing in the real estate market. I read an article that said that 90% of the world's millionaires invest in the real estate market to create more wealth, and this is literally so important, you guys. Something I definitely recommend everybody in their 20s try and do. Um, obviously, in order to do this, you have to have some type of capital. Great about this is you, typically you only need about 15 to 20% of a down deposit to start investing in real estate. This is one of my goals for 2021. I'm currently in, this, in the process of just saving a lot of money, budgeting, and putting a lot of my money into savings so that I can start doing real estate and investing into real estate next year. But definitely recommend everybody to start um, start the process of investing into real estate as soon as possible whether it be to start another business so that you're generating cash flow so that you can save or just saving in general um, or doing research on real estate start doing something to push you towards that direction of investing into the real estate market Something I do recommend you guys to do and it's something that I've been doing a lot of research on is by buying a two piece or two family piece of real estate and this is because and this is simply because so many people in their 20s throw money away by renting when they can do this option and you know buy a two piece um and buy this two family piece of real estate and literally live in the one family and have the second family generating income from um you know their rent so you can use their rent to pay off the mortgage for your property and you can literally live rent free for most of your 20s and you know continually be generating cash flow until you buy you know your huge house or whatever you want to do in the future so that's a, an amazing option i don't know if i'm going to go that route yet but that can definitely save a lot of money from people that are in their 20s that like to live in you know rental apartments and stuff like that for a long period of time being owner occupant means that you're living that means that you're occupying space inside the property but you're also the owner and you're you know collecting rent from the second and last but not least you guys invest in your health um, this is one thing that money cannot buy if you are unhealthy you obviously are not going to reap the benefits of all these different things that you are you know planning and investing in for the future so invest in your health um, work out if you can and um, try and eat as best as you can just so that you can prolong your life and just live as healthy as possible um, this is one thing that we definitely don't do in our 20s because of alcohol and drinking and drugs and you know eating horribly because we're young but we don't realize how much of an effect this brings onto us in the future this is something that i'm definitely working on just like my alcohol and food intake take can definitely um affect me down the road so that's one thing i'm working on as well as working out you know you guys know you guys know i played basketball competitively for a long period of my life i played college basketball so i've always been um you know athletic but i have not been taking the initiative to consistently go out to the gym or to work out so that's one thing i'm definitely going to be working on more so that i'm you know at the best physical state that i can be and also just your food intake your alcohol intake all this stuff definitely does take into account of your health and will they live a long prosperous life you have to put in you have to make sure that you're putting that work in now um, so definitely invest in your health you guys that's basically it for this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys got hope you guys got a lot of information you guys from this definitely check out audible down below or text um, Ruby to 500 500 to um, you know get your first free audiobook and two audible originals for free you guys check out my past money Mondays videos I'm gonna have it in the pinned um, comment down below and enter my hundred dollar giveaway if you guys haven't already I give away a hundred dollars to a different person every single week this week's get winner is going to be in the description bar down below so you guys let me know what other videos you guys would like to see in this series check out my ebook you guys on a guide to investing in your 20s um, I'm gonna really go more in depth with all this information in that specific ebook check that out you guys and that's basically it I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys